hello children so once again i am here with a new video for you all and uh, this time i am going to discuss about the tropical grasslands another natural region of the world as you all know it very well that in the earlier video we have discussed about the equatorial regions now it is tropical grasslands tropical grasslands are also called as the savannas and uh, basically it is found in the tropical zone the grasslands which are found in the tropical zone those grasslands are called as the tropical grasslands and why do we call grasslands grasslands means the natural vegetation of this region is mainly the grasses a vast stretch of land with all the grasses right everywhere the grasses are there tall grasses and that is why it is rightly called as grasslands and because it is there in tropical zone so naturally it is tropical grasslands now as we proceed with this video i want to remind you before that not to forget to share this link of this video with your friends and your classmates okay and don't forget to subscribe the channel also now let's uh, start with the tropical grasslands and uh, first of all first thing is that what is the location of the tropical grasslands basically the tropical grasslands are located in semi arid to semi humid climatic regions of subtropical and tropical latitudes tropical means between the two tropics subtropics means subtropical means very close to the tropics so this is about the location of the tropical grasslands moreover if we talk about the latitudes between what latitudes does it lie so in between the 7 degrees to 20 degrees north and south in both the hemispheres between 7 to 20 degrees in the northern hemisphere 7 to 20 degrees in the southern hemisphere this region lies okay tropical grassland lies now area wise if you say which of the continents are having basically this uh, type of region this type of grasslands so basically three continents are there in which this type of grasslands are found number one is south america next is africa and the third one is australia now area wise if you will check you will find that in south america basically this uh, grassland that is tropical grasslands are found in two parts okay on both the sides of equator that means in the north of equator and in the south of equator two different parts are there and both these belong to the same region that is tropical grasslands so the the llanos of orinoco basin and campos of brazilian highlands both these llanos belongs to the uh, you can say in the northern hemisphere and uh, the campos of brazilian highlands is there in the southern hemisphere just equator is separating the two okay but both these belong to the same natural region that is tropical grasslands number 2 in africa in africa you will find different countries are there actually in the map if you see basically the countries which are having this uh, natural region include the sudan senegal cameroon ghana guinea mali niger togo kenya tanzania angola uganda zaire zambia zimbabwe malawi and mozambique all these countries are having some or the uh, other part of all these countries are covered by the tropical grasslands you can see very clearly in the map in africa such a vast area is covered by the tropical grasslands now let's talk about australia in australia if you see basically the tropical grasslands are covering the main area 
of the two territories that is northern territory and the queensland these are the two territories which are having the tropical grasslands now after discussing the area wise distribution of the tropical grasslands you should know about basically the temperature what type of temperature conditions are found in such an area and moreover the type of rainfall which all together we can say that climatic condition of the area right what type of climate is found in such an area so for that let's have a check of all that first the temperature temperature in such tropical grasslands because it is tropical so you all should understand that it is maximum time it remains hot because you all know it very well that the apparent movement of sun is there between the two tropic zones and when it movement is there apparent movement of the sun is there between the two tropics only so naturally the sun rays fall straight over the tropical zone and that is why for maximum part of the year you will find it has got high temperatures right so summers basically are in this area uh, during summers the temperatures are between 22 to 37 degrees centigrade or many times it goes more than that also then besides this if we talk about the rainfall the rainfall received in this area or this region is less or you can say it is um, around 75 cm or so you can say 50 to 75 or maximum 90 cm okay that is the amount of rainfall which is received in this region and this amount of rainfall because it is less rainfall received in such an area so naturally the type of vegetation which can exist which can grow in such an area is only the grasses because the rainfall is less this region so naturally the type of vegetation which grows in such an area is the grasses because this much amount of rainfall is not at all sufficient for any of the forests to develop and that is why this is the reason why the natural vegetation which is found here is only the grasses just a few trees are found here and there otherwise maximum part is covered with the grasses and these grasses are tall grasses now when we talk about the the seasons right the what are the different seasons uh, in this uh, region in the north if you say uh, in the northern hemisphere the rainy season basically the rainy season it begins in may right and it lasts till september but the amount of rainfall received is very less rainy season extends till september but the total amount of rainfall is very less moreover in the southern hemisphere if you are talking about so there you will find the rainy season is actually starting from october and it goes till march so these are different in different uh, hemispheres it is totally different but basically what we are talking of here is the amount of rainfall amount of rainfall basically is less in this region okay and this is the main reason why the uh, this region has got total area is covered with grasses these grasses are basically uh, tall and coarse in nature right and they actually grow till a height of you can say 3 uh, or 4 feet to 6 feet or 7 feet height is there right such tall grasses are actually covering the entire region and the next thing about it is basically these uh, grasses because their Uh, they are existing in an area which gets very less rainfall okay hardly the rainfall goes above 50 cm right you can take it in this way rarely it rarely happens that the rainfall goes to 75 so basically when the rainfall is around 50 cm during that it rarely happens that the rainfall goes above 75 cm okay in certain cases only 
so basically it remains within that range only it's supposed uh, from uh, the 50 centimeters or 40 centimeters to 70 75 centimeters that is the basic range within what the total rainfall is received and if the rainfall is so less naturally the vegetation which grows that has to depend on the water that has to search for water and this is the reason the grasses which grow in this area, these grasses have got very deep roots. The roots basically go deep, very deep inside in search of water. So this is about the vegetation. If anywhere the trees are found, just a few trees here and there you will find. So if these trees are there, these trees belong to deciduous type and they shed down their leaves during the, the dry season. So this is about the natural vegetation of the region. Now basically the savannas are called as the natural cattle country or you can say the, the tropical regions, right? Tropical grasslands are called as the natural cattle region. And why it is so, you, I think you are able to understand that. Because we, when we are having a large area covered with grasses, naturally the main occupation of the people is going to be the something related to the animals right or the cattle so herdsmen or pastoralists such um, uh, people are found in mostly the tropical grasslands okay that means their main occupation is rotating around the uh, grass grasses only that means the uh, the main occupation is somewhere you can say animal domestication or the cattle rearing and most of these areas which come under this region, right, there you will find the cattle ranching is an important occupation. Okay, one of the main economic activity of these countries. Now, besides this, the savannas has got great potential for the plantation agriculture also. So, some people who are not involved in these activities like uh, who are not involved in the uh, animal domestication and all. So these people actually uh, get involved in agriculture, right? And basically the plantation agriculture. And this region, especially the tropical grasslands are well known for several uh, cash crops, right? Which are grown by the people here. And especially the most important cash crops which are grown include cotton right coffee oil palm groundnuts along with that you will find in west africa the main crops which are grown are groundnuts oil palm cocoa these are the main crops so this is all about the tropical grasslands of as a natural region of the world now this is all with this video we are going to meet again in the next video which is regarding the tropical deserts so don't forget to see the next video also